Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm here early on a Saturday morning. Um, so I can demonstrate for you the AutoCAD side of some of the basic animation. Um, the concept of views and cameras is in all software, uh, all animation software, all CAD software. Lots of different views, lots of different cameras, and finally lots of concept of camera paths. So the command for moving a camera around generally in AutoCAD is Anapath. Anapath. But to understand Anapath, you first have to know how to set up cameras and use point filters. So I'm going to demonstrate that and then Anapath. Anapath is an animation path. It doesn't have all the great abilities that a lot of other cameras would have or they would have in Max 3DS, particularly the ability to kind of zoom in and out on the camera. But I want to demonstrate for you that, in fact, as we go to some of these other softwares for visualization, that uh, this stuff is inside of AutoCAD, and you're welcome to use it and, 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 and should pl play around with it. Um, what we're going to do is first show you how, if you haven't heard of it before, cameras work. I mean, views work. I mean, cameras work. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a camera right now in this project, which is starting to get a little complex. I'm just showing two corridors here, but obviously it grows from that. So how do you do a camera? There are toolbars for it, but camera makes a lot of sense. Dot X, Y, typically, because you want to be someplace like this, and you need an elevation. And if you know your elevations, you can go directly someplace like 1500. And then your target location, again, dot X, Y, of, let's say, something like near, or just click if you want, and then a Z of maybe 1100. That sets a camera up. And you can give it a name. The name for that camera would be November 13th, camera one, perhaps. Lots of different cameras. Um, you set up a lot, of, a lot of this stuff for once you have your design done. And even in the middle sometimes, you have to think about how things work with each other. So now how do you go to that camera? You guessed it, the V for view command. You go to there, you hit set current, and you go there, and it shows you that <clears throat> you got nothing, you see nothing, so that's kind of because there's nothing there when you're de dealing in Civil 3D until you do something else here. So that camera is set, but what you need to do is you need to have some light for it to cast upon. So it would appear that this has to be done in two steps, but we'll see whether that's the case. You need to go to one of your surfaces. In other words, there's a surface there or a surface there. You need to go to some place to your surfaces, and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now by going to settings here. Go to the prospector here and go to one of my surfaces, and I'm going to change. You see how many surfaces there starts to be. I'm going to change the Kaylee top. Right-click Kaylee Paul, I guess I should call it. Surface Properties, I'm going to change that so you can see it, to Triangles, and hit Apply, hit OK, and then you see that surface is there. Now my camera might or might not pick that up, but I can go back V to View, go to there, Set Current, OK, and I still don't see it, even though the camera's there. There is probably a way to go about doing this in terms of isolating that right there and right click and isolate objects okay, and looking around. But probably you want to kind of get used to the fact that you're going to want to learn to kind of dump things into something that's a little bit more standard in AutoCAD, so a surface. So you can see it's trying to recompute a bunch of stuff there. So we can take this. When you click on it, extract your objects. We're going to grab just the triangles. Hit OK. Now those triangles are there. And now perhaps when we go to V to camera, we can go to Kaylee profile and see that it's a visual 2D wireframe. You probably want to look at conceptual or realistic. Hit set current. OK. You're still not seeing it. Undo, undo. So perhaps the camera needs to be moved. 
And if you notice there, we should be picking it up, and we, we know that we should be picking up that. And you see the camera preview right here. So we should be picking it up now. So if we do now do V for view, hit here, say set current, OK, we should start to see something that we want. So that's how you go about setting up cameras, but realize you need to have something in there that actually can be rendered. So um, there's different ways to do that, but getting your triangles pushed out and then erased and pushed out and erased is not a bad way, especially because you're going to be wanting to take and stick these out into some other surface and deal with them over time. So again, V for view takes you back to there, set current. You can all of a sudden change it to perhaps conceptual, set current. Okay, and then you get something that looks like that. And so that's how you start to get this ability to use cameras. Now, what is an anapath? It's a set of shots where a camera follows either a point or a path. You do paths in most programs by polylines, either regular polylines or 3D polylines. We're going to do this one by regular. B for view, overall plan, set current. Okay, you're at this point now. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. You see the glyph come in. I'm going to just kind of draft right over the top, remembering that I can put a path at elevation by doing this. P line dot x, y of around here with the z elevation. This road's at around, we'll call it 1100. I'm just going to kind of go here with my ortho on based on this site. I'm going to go there. And then I'm going to finish it out here. I can then do P edit. I'm sorry, I can do fillet, radius. I'm going to go 300, and then polyline. You don't do that too often, but right there, now you've got a polyline that is at elevation. That is one path. I can take this left click, left click space bar. I can move it, turn my ortho off a little bit, move it here. At that point, it's just moving it in 2D, and now I can go left-click. You're going to the principal's office, left-click left spacebar, at 0, 0, 0, we'll bring him up 300 feet, or her. So right now, you've got two paths. I guess I didn't leave one behind, so I'm going to list that one. And I'm going to have to bring it back now, left-click left click space bar C for copy I'm gonna move it to there you see I usually do this in two steps left click left click space bar you're gonna move it down at 0 comma 0 comma minus 300 now in 3d space now by listing this one at 1100 and this one at 1400 you have two paths now is the next step the command is Anapath. Great, can works in all AutoCAD software, in regular AutoCAD, in Civil 3D, and probably Revit as well, uh, though Revit probably has a different command. Anapath. You're going to link the camera to a path. You can, those paths can have names, it looks like, but you're going to grab the camera, you're going to link it to there, hit OK. You're going to link the target to a path right there and you're going to tell it what kind of visual style we'll start here with a 3d wireframe and we're going to hit a preview and what you're not seeing is the animation preview so i'm going to bring it over here again we're going to go hit escape here hit preview and it's jumping you can't see it because it's jumping over to the side so that's what it looks like it looks something like this as it's flying through all right move that over here and in reality, what would be of interest would be kind of changing the scale. And this is, you know, old hat. What you're going to need is perhaps other software to allow movements, movement of objects on your road. As you start looking at really the camera being an object that is, can be described by parametric equations and objects in space being things that can be described by, by parametric equations. So we're going to go ahead and try this finally, and I'll post this one out. I'm going to just try one more preview with a, with a realistic. Hit a preview here. And it's realistic, I think, because um, 
I don't know if I'm going to call that realistic. Realistic, it probably doesn't give me a preview one. I'm going to try conceptual and hit a preview here. So it's probably just giving you the current, right? Or you can change that realistic. I'll try it again. It's giving you that kind of output. So what you can finally do then, it takes a little bit of time. You can put it to any set of um, criteria. I'm going to leave it pretty low here as an AVI file. I'm going to do that and it will hit it. When you hit OK here, it will send it out to a standard AVI file. So I'm going to do this and then post this out with the images. The command is Anapath. That then involves something that you've done in the past, which is rendering and lighting, but I'm going to point out that probably you're going to want to do this in another software. Um, if no other reason, that uh, I've kind of pushed through with the, the software and that end, and there's a lot more support out there for that. But uh, you don't have to, and it is worth kind of setting up, realizing that it makes a difference from where you look at your model as well as whether the model's correct in today's modern society. So when you look out and do some, look at the, some of the conceptual work that you'll look out if you put conceptual, look out at Students Autodesk Community at the kind of work that they do at MSOE and other places, you'll realize that this kind of video um, perception of proposed worlds is important and it is standard fare. So I'm going to hit OK here. We'll see how long this takes. There it is. I'm going to stick it out right now out in the K drive, out in the transfer out in the collab space and I'll stick it right now in shared video for now so we'll see a bunch of stuff as we get putting stuff out there we'll clean that out but you can kinda share what you've done with your models with the class so this is gonna be November 13 I'm sorry 4606 November 13 so What's the keys? Keeping track of polylines that are flat at the start, knowing that polylines are flat in 3D space, using Anapath, and making sure that you have actually objects like 3D faces that you've pushed out from some surface, uh, which you later can paint uh, or render through any means you care. Hit save here. There it is. It created the video. This probably will not feed for you. But if I now do this, I'm going to pull this down here, and I'm going to see if that video will play. I'm going to go to my computer, go to there, go to where it was placed, which is in the transfer, in the collaborative space. And I didn't stick it in the right spot, but that's fine. We'll click on this. I don't think this video will catch. You won't see it, but we'll give it a try anyway. It's loading up the loader here. Uh, why, it, why this works like this on campus I'm not sure but it's working pretty hard so at this point in time I will just post this out to um, to YouTube along with this video as a link or something like it alright so we're just gonna stop this frame since boy that's working a lot harder oh there it is it just did it again that was only about uh, a second so it's zipped through you there I'm gonna close this out that's our media player here on campus uh, YouTube works probably finer or better thanks for listening